All right, I'm going to go to what may be the worst case scenario of anything I've done in these how to edit your photos because this is a damaged image. This is a restoration project. So this is not how would I edit. This is I accidentally blew took, this out I, yeah, accidentally at 2,500 took my, my ISO, ISO during the day to in the daytime. And I should have been at 100, and I accidentally shot it at 2,500, and so now I'm at a, a kind of a mess. So step one, let's get, let's crop it in a little bit to get rid of the uh, the junk up in the corner. That's step one, and it just happened to put them in the rule of thirds. Uh, we can hit auto, and let's just see what it does. Nothing Oof. good. So I'm I think what you're going to have to do is let's just drop the exposure and the highlights yeah see what now see what we can recover I, the big one here's what i'm worried about eric sometimes when you drop the highlights it doesn't turn it doesn't bring back color and stuff yep. it turns gray yep i so, unfortunately think that's what's gonna happen too well let's just try the exposure first oh that's a little bit yeah well that's something yeah we can work with that we, we can, can work with this environmental let's try highlights here we go yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, let's try. I'm just going to try dropping the contrast or increasing it. I think increasing works better, except for maybe on the horse. All right, let's hold the shift key and click on the word auto whites and auto blacks. If you're in Lightroom, that they don't show up. You have to double click just on the word whites and black. It doesn't say auto. I mean, that's better. Uh, I'm not sure I want to add any texture or clarity. I'm worried about that. I do, I think I would go and take the masking tool, go to the brush, increase the exposure a little bit and get the other side of the horse. Now, you could do a sky replacement it could. Could, it could look really funky. Let's just try it. Because we got enough of the photo back to where there's something there now. There's nothing really. This is so blown out here that I'm not sure what we can do with that. We've lost detail in these areas, which is why we're always, we always hear Eric and I harping about, you know, not blowing out your highlights. And right. so let me, let me just try I was surprised this. you were able to recover that much, though. I really was. Yeah, because you, you never know how it's going to go. Let's go but to Sky Replacement. I think part of that is it was, it was snow. I think it was snow, too. It was John Snow. It was John Snow. going to be a hard one. Yeah, this is going to be a really, especially when you throw a blue background. Hey! Yeah. No, it's hey like more like an, yeah, like an overcast. Like. Yeah, you need kind of an overcasty. Not that. I don't even know if it's going to be able to. And you got to mask out this because it's kind of picking up right on the horse and the rider. See, there might be another way to take the photo. And that is just focus on the horse and the rider and creating more of a, a kind of a, a textured look. To well, it, wait a minute. Know? This is this isn't terrible. Yeah, not, I mean, it's going to have to be overcast. Definitely. Yeah, you're going to have to find a better sky than I've got. Uh, these are the default Adobe skies that are in here. And I'm not, they're not... Okay, that's an inappropriate sky. That's uh, yeah. all right. I'm going to go back to the closest one that I've seen, which is this one. Yeah. So I'm thinking you got to find an overcast sky, and you might be able to just go to the sky replacement group and lower the opacity a little bit. How about like something yeah, like something that? Yeah, something like that. That works. Something like that. Yeah, it gives some texture to the to the sky. It looks way better. All right, and then we'll we'll flatten the image. And let's just try this next step. I don't know if this is going to work. Go to filter and go to camera raw. Go to this little four square, little four browser browse profiles here. And the same thing if you're doing this in Lightroom, it's the same thing. Uh, go to artistic and see if you can find one of yeah. these uh, profiles because it'll help uh, uh It'll help. Uh, pull the sky in with the rest of the photo. Okay, not artistic. Let's go try modern. You know what? You might try vintage. You might find something in here. Yeah, I like some of those. Like that one. I like that one. Yeah, vintage 02. Looks pretty good. Oh, wait, what, what was down here? I like that too. Yeah, that's vintage 08. Let's go with vintage 02. And you have an amount slider if you want more vintage, less vintage, or something in there is fine. 
and then you know sharpen it and i think i think it's as good as we're going to get it without putting a lot a lot of time into it give it a second it's updating loading updating updated but i mean look at the difference between the boots look at the boots the edge of the boots. oh my gosh it's night and day look at you can actually see the stitching on the tack oh look at that i mean that is incredible come on <laughs> wow that's cheating that's cheating and there you yeah. go it's a photo so this is what it originally looked like i think we did okay i was kind of worried i was worried too but that's but, pretty good but that's a photo <laughs> restoration that's not really an edit that's like we got a damaged photo and that's where if you're shooting you got to watch that during the daytime not boosting your iso that much <laughs>